We meet twice a week on a Wednesday and also on a Tuesday to learn about programming. So over here we've got all these blocks which are used. These objects are code blocks. Code blocks. So we've got all these different code blocks. You can see there's different ones. They're different colors. And the reason why they're different colors is to show the different categories. Like this one is motion. It's showing all the movement. Anything. Move 10 steps. Turn 15 degrees. And it's got a whole lot of motion ones. If I click on the looks one, look there, it's our, our sprites over here. Let's make her a bit big. If I go over there, look, it gets bigger. If I go there, it goes smaller. So when you're going to scratch, you can make sure that the stage is bigger or smaller. So if I go like this, it's bigger. Now I call this, this is called Avery, this sprite. She is called Avery. There's her name. You can change that name if you don't like the name. And you can see the code related to Avery. You can see, look, Avery is active. And there's a code showing over here related to Avery. And it says when, I'll just make this smaller so you can see it again. If I go there, there, when the sprite is clicked. So when I click on Avery, then whatever code is written in here is going to be read. In other words, it will start activating the code. When I click on Avery, look, click on her, look, she's saying something different. Make it big. If I make it small, if I make it big, then when I click on Avery, she's going to say something. The translation of fish, and then she's going to give me the Zulu translation, is in Tlanzi. So she's learned something. She's full of knowledge. The translation of elephant is in Glovo. And she'll come up with a third one, Rachel's favorite color. And I probably have got this one, Ioni Umblala I Rachel Iotando in Tayo. The translation of rabbit in Zulu. This is the second last one, Uno Guaja. And then the last one, obviously I've said it wrong because I've never learned Zulu in my life, but I've got a program that's teaching me Zulu elephant. All right, so let's just make it smaller. And you can see that was when I clicked on the sprite. Now, if I go over here, when I click on this one, it's got a forever loop. Now, boys and girls, you're probably wondering, how did I get that background over there? Some of you already know. So you go over here, and it's called the stage. Look at the stage. There's the backdrop. Choose a backdrop. And we'll go with a different one, the beach in Rio. Now, Avery's in a different environment. She's on the beach in Rio. I hear a lot of noise. Now, boys and girls, when you want to share your project, you can get other people to just use the project, and they can also make good use of it. So let's see how it's done. Now, when you guys go into Scratch and you want to get my code, so you don't have to type everything out again. So you don't want to type everything out again. So you come into Scratch. Okay, we're starting Scratch. We leave the page. When you go into Scratch, I'm just reloading Scratch. And you go over here. Look, it says my stuff. You can go there and you can... See your, your projects. Look, I've done Zulu 002. I've got Zulu 002. There's two of them, and there's an Escape the Maze. Now, if you want to explore and find projects, you go here to explore. And then you type in Zulu Translator. And it should find my project. Now it'll search. And look over here. If you see this one, click on it. But you don't really need to play my game. Because you can now just have a look at the code that makes up the game. You're gonna, you can even change it to make it your own game. If I go see inside, 
I'll go through that again. You go to explore. When you go to explore, you know that you can look through all the projects in Scratch. Now, those are things you can share. And we're going to change this project to make it into Italian today. We're going to catch up with Matthews ahead of us. And we'll change it to Italian. It says C inside. So you can, you don't have to type all the code that I've put in. Let's go through that again. To catch up with me, go over here. Go back to the Scratch account. Leave here. Go to Explore on the Explore button. Guys, why aren't you doing it? Then you can just get into the project and you don't even have to type the code. Go over here. Explore. And then type in Zulu Translator. You don't want to write all everything again. You want to make it easy for yourself. I'm sharing the code with you guys. Zulu Translator. Praise Zulu Translator. And now we're going to make this Italian. And you're going to see that our, we're going to change it. So I go C inside. And I'm going to change Zulu Translator to Italian. Because I want to learn Italian now. Italian Translator. All right. And we're going to make it Italian. Making everything smaller. So you guys can see better. Now I'm going to go through the beginning. Now when you see this. When you see this flag. That's showing us that we are clicking on the flag to start the game. And then we're bringing in this. A forever loop. Now what is a forever loop? The flag starts the code. It reads the first line and it goes down to the bottom. So whatever's in, the, in, in this, it's like a, a big mouth. Whatever gets inside this mouth is going to be running. That code will run. So the first thing we did, I'm just going to move that up. If I move that down, the first thing we did was, what do you want translated in Zulu? Now I'm going to change that Zulu to Italian. So we're going to change it to Italian. We're going to learn the language of Italian. Anyone in this class who's Italian? Oh, I thought Christopher was Italian. Okay, so I'm going to put that over there. And the next thing we're going to do is this. Translate answer to Italian. And I'm going to scroll down. H I Italian. There. Translate the answer to Italian. Then I'm going to go and change the lists to Italian and English. Now, how do we do that? We'll show you in a minute. Now, some of you, can any of you tell me what do we use a list for? What do we use a list for? A list is going to be where we store our information. The English and the tra Italian translations. If I go over here, variables, and I click on that, and I click on those two checks, and I click on my list checks, you see this one is Zulu, that's English. You can see them here. All of them are now visible. I've made them visible. When I unchecked them, they were invisible. Now I'm going to take these away. I don't want any of this stuff in here because we're not going to make this a Zulu program anymore. We're changing it to be an Italian program, not a Zulu program. So I'm going to make that a bit bigger. Go over there. And I'm in design mode. Just going to take all these away. We, there's a quicker way of doing this. You can just clear the, li the list. Click on those little, that, and then you've got a Zulu list, English list, and we're going to change the names. Now, how do we change the names? Let's show that. Make this a bit smaller, and we go back to our variable, and look here, it says Zulu. I'm going to right-click on Zulu and rename it. I'm going to change it to Italian. Marco Giuseppe Italiano. Italian. 
So it's now changed to Italian. We can bring this code over here. Add to Italian. So we're going to change this list. Add the translated answer to Italian. So you guys are going to then have this. Add the answer to the English list. And now we're adding the translated answer in Italian to the Italian list. You'll see there, we've got the two now. So it's putting an Italian list and an English list. It's got two things. Now we're going to go and we're going to say, let's just test our code. Make it a bit bigger. And it still says Zulu, so I'm going to take that away. What she says, what do you want translated in Italian? Should come up. It should work. Click on her. Okay, let's click on the flag. What do you want translated in Italian? Not very clear. I'm going to move her a little bit to the side. Like that. And make her over there. Christopher, you look Italian, so you'll enjoy this. It says, the Zulu translation, we're going to click on the flag. What do you want translated in Italian? Let's try hello in Italian. And it'll go hello. Ciao. Okay, ciao, ciao. And it's still going to bring it, look, ciao. And this is still registered as Zulu. So let's get that and fix it up. Right, so we're adding it to the Italian list, and the Zulu, uh, the the other list is. I just want to see over here. Why are we still reading Zulu list? Okay, I think it's because we have over here. If we scroll down, it says Italian, and there it says English. All right, so this is when the sprite is going. So when I say pick random, this is going to be English, English, Italian. And then we must change this writing over here where it says Zulu. We're going to make this Italian. And we're going to bring in some text to speech now. So we're going to try catch up to where Matthew is. Right, so we're changing. The Italian translation is. And then it's going to say the Italian. So it's going to repeat something five times. Guys, I'll put the code up for you guys to just copy it in a minute. So if I go, ciao is hello, I'm going to go, what is your name in Italian? What is your, I don't know why it's showing Zulu there. What is your name? And I go like this, and we're going to make it say the words just now. Come ti chiami. Chiami. Okay, watch, it'll come in. There's the Italian, which is still listed as Zulu and English. Okay, so let's go out of this. Now we've got two... Italian words are listed. Now we're going to bring in text to speech. Now, if we go down here, look over there. It's called one of the extensions. We find Google Translate and text to speech. Now, look over there. It says, set speak. And here it says, set voice. Set language. We're going to set this language. To Italian. So look, it says Italian. And then we're going to say, speak, speak. And we're going to copy this bit of code. Okay, let's see what it does. I'm just going to test the code. Always remember to test your code. Click on the flag. I don't hear anything. What do you want to translate into Italian? I'll go, my baby. I don't know why I'm saying my baby, but I'll just. Bambino. Al mio bambino. Right. It's not saying anything yet. Mio bambino. Yeah, hey, it's working. So, guys, it's saying the word. But now we're going to get it. That's going to teach us. In the part where it teaches us, I'm going to make it a bit smaller. Okay, wow. You guys see how good this is. Now we're going to make it say the item over here. I'm going to take this out, this part, and I'm going to make it say, speak, I'm going to take this piece of code out, and I'm going to make it speak, and I'm going to put that in, 
This foot, a little bit of code in here. And I'm going to put it. Yeah, well, let's put this one in like that. And then the translation of. Il mio bambino. Hello. And then it's going to say. Il mio bambino. There we go. And I'm going to bring this one in. Right. So listen, I think this should work. Il mio bambino. It's teaching five things. Click on the flag. Uh, let's go with cat in Italian. C-A-T, cat. P click on it. And the word cat, look, is gato. And it's going to be listed in this list over gato. here. Gato. Now we're going to add in another one. I like to learn. I like to learn Italian. I put it in. Mi piace imparare l'italiano. Eh, hey, if I say Christopher is the best soccer player in the world. Now you guys can imagine we only in primary school but we're making a program that can teach you it's adding it in. Christopher is the Cristo sarà il miglior giocatore di calcio del mondo. Wow, we're learning. So now let's get this to teach us. I like to learn Italian. It's going to tell us it. Uh, place impare italiano. Let's listen. Cristo sarà il miglior giocatore di calcio del mondo. And it's going to teach us the next one. My, listen, the translation of my baby is mio bambino. Il mio bambino. Cristo sarà il miglior giocatore di calcio del mondo. So I'm going to fix it Cristo up. sarà il miglior giocatore di calcio del mondo. Wow, we, we're doing a good job, guys. Ah, look at our mistake. This answer must go out. It has to be the yeah. it, Italian list. So duplicate that, and then it'll be right. Now it'll work. Watch. Delete block. Now my code's right. Now let's get seeing how she's going to teach us. Click on her. The translation of Christopher is the best soccer player in the world. The translation of cat. Let's see if it's going to tell us. Gato. Gato. Okay, now it says Christopher is the best soccer player in the world. Let's see what it's going to, it's going to talk to us. Christopher el, il miglior giocatore. Cristo sarà il miglior giocatore di calcio del mondo. And look at this. It's telling us that one again. Christopher is the best soccer player in the world. Cristo è il miglior giocatore di calcio del mondo. Cristo sarà il miglior giocatore di calcio del mondo. The translation of I like to learn Italian. Listen. Mi piace imparare l'italiano. The translation of cat. Gatto. Gatto. All of this that you see, these lists, we don't want them. We're going to move them away. So if you want to get rid of your list, you go to variables. And you just click on these check boxes. And you can change it from Italian. You don't have to learn Italian. Maybe you guys learn French. Some of you might want to learn French. We know that Chloe is a super genius in this class. Probably wants to learn French. All right. So, guys, I'm going to share this. Now, how are you going to find the translator? You're going to go find it in projects. Okay. I'm going to save it first. Save now. For text-to-speech. Guys, I'm going to call it text to speech, speech to teach Italian, the Brian Evan coding group. And we'll go with that. I hope you guys are going to play the go with this. I think you'll find it now. Let's see if it's Italian translator. Save now. Let's go. And if I go to over here, scratch. Italian translator, then you guys are going to find it. Type in Italian, go into Scratch and go Italian translator.